Hello, how to solve this exponential problem? We have 3 power t minus 2 power t equals 65. We are solving for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. Remember that t is a positive integer. Then also t is greater than 0. Now, based on these conditions, we need to solve this particular exponential problem. So let's study this way. Let's just recall this problem. We can have 3 power t. And I can decide to raise it to the power of 1, which is the same thing as t, t power 1, or t times 1 is the same thing as t. I have minus 2 power t. I raise it to the power of 1. If you multiply t times 1, it's the same thing as this t. And this equals 65. So the next thing I'm going to do is to make use of equivalent fraction. Instead of writing 1, I can have 2 divided by 2. So why am I doing this? It's just for us to have a difference of 2 squares. I want to end up having a difference of 2 squares. I want to have 2 here, 2 here, so that I can make use of difference of 2 squares. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to have 3 power t raised to the power of, instead of 1, I have 2 over 2. Minus 2 power t, instead of 1, I have 2 over 2. And this equals 65. So from here, I make use of this identity. Remember, a power n, all power m equals a power n times m, right? So you can decide to multiply t times 2. That will give you 2t, then divided by 2, right? So instead of doing that, I can simply have 3 power t over 2. I just factor out this t over 2. And this is raised to the power of 2. Have you seen the 2 that I told you about? So minus this 2 power t and this is divided by 2 again and this is raised to the power of 2. So we just factor out this 2 here. So and this equals 65. At this point we have 2 here, we have 2 here. So there is a minus here we can then make use of difference of 2 squares which is if you have a squared minus b squared this equals a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, our a equals 3 power t over 2, while b equals 2 power t over 2. So that means we are going to have for a plus b here, we are going to have 3 power t over 2 plus 2 power t over 2. And also, for a minus b, we are going to have 3 power t over 2. Then we have minus 3 power t or 2 power t over 2. That is minus b, that is 2 power t over 2. And this equals 65. So at this point, I can say, let 3 power t over 2 equals x and also 2 power t over 2 equals y. So let's make use of this so that we can shorten this whole equation. So for this, we are going to have this is x plus y times x minus y and this equals 65, right? Now from here, we are going to make use of two prime numbers that if we multiply, we are going to have 65. Remember I said prime factors. Remember one is not a prime factor. So one is not a, a prime factor. So the two prime factors we have are just five and 13. So five times 13 will give us 65. So we have x plus y times x minus y equals 5 times 13. Instead of writing 65, we are writing 5 times 13. Now, if you look at this, this is x plus y, this is x minus y. So we can rearrange this because x plus y will be greater than x minus y. So in this case, these two factors, that means x plus y will be 13 because it's greater than the x minus y, which is 5. So we can have 
x plus y times x minus y equals 13 times 5 because this is greater than what we have here. That's why I'm writing the 13 first. So the next thing we are going to do is to equate each of them. That means x plus y equals 13 and x minus y equals 5. So let's solve these two equations. So from here, this is equation 1, this is equation 2. From this first equation, we can have x equals 13 minus y. I just decided to move this over here and make x the subject. So let's substitute this for x right here. We are going to have 13 minus y. Instead of x, we are having this. Then we have minus y equals 5. So from here we have 13, this is minus y minus y equals 5. So from here we have 13 minus y minus y, that is minus 2y equals 5. So you can move this over here. We then have minus 2y equals 5 minus 13. When it crosses this equality sign, it becomes negative. So from here we have minus 2y equals 5 minus 13, we are going to have minus 8. So negative cancels negative. So from here we have 2y equals 8. Solving for y, we divide this by 2. We divide this by 2. 2 eliminates 2. So y equals 8 divided by 2, 4. So let's solve for x. We can use this equation here. We have x equals 13 minus y. So from here, you can have x equals 13 minus y is what? y is 4. So this will give us x equals 13 minus 4. We have 9. So our x is 9 and y is 4. Now let's get back to this particular equation here because we are solving for t. Remember this? We had 3 power t over 2 equals x. Have you seen it? So recall that x, x equals what? 9. So you have 3 power t over 2 equals 9. So you can have 3 power t over 2 equals 9 is a perfect square. We can have it as 3 power 2. So we can then compare this exponent together. Since the bases are the same, we compare the exponent, 3 here, 3 here. We compare the exponent. So you have t over 2 equals 2, and this is over 1. We cross multiply. So from here, we are going to have t times 1, that is t equals 2 times 2, 4. So this is the value of t. If you also make use of this other equation here, this one here. If you make use of this equation and insert y here, you are still going to have the same value of t. Let me show you something. If you also have this equation here for y, remember, we had y equals 2 power t over 2. If you also insert the value of y, what was our y? y is 4. We are going to have 2 power t over 2. 4 is a perfect square, which is 2 power 2. And this equals 2 power t over 2. By comparing the exponent, we are going to have 2 equals t over 2. And this is over 1. We cross multiply t equals 4. Have you seen it? In any of these two equations, either x or y, you are going to have the same thing. So that is the value of our t. Now the next thing we are going to do is to check. We can check. Remember t equals 4. We can check if this value of t will satisfy this equation. So you have 3 power t minus 2 power t equals 65. Let's substitute 4 for t. We have 3 power 4 minus 2 power 4 equals 65. 3 power 4 is 81. That is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Minus 2 power 4 is 16 equals 65. And indeed, 81 minus 16, 1 minus 6 cannot 
add 1 to 1, that's 11. 11 minus 6, so you are going to have 5. Then 7 minus 1, you have 65. And this equals 65. So the answer is obviously very correct. And that is it. Thank you and goodbye.